hello, it's Andrea, and today is Monday, December 6th, I, or not December, oh my goodness, no, <laughs> January, January 6th, 2020, and it is cold out, Chad, is it cold where you are? what the temperature is exactly. It's 30-something degrees Fahrenheit. So, Bob's at work. I dropped one of my sons off at work. I don't know if the other one works today. And, uh, what am I gonna do today? Well, I haven't eaten my breakfast yet. I wanna go home and have my breakfast and my says to wash them in cold water and then lie them flat to dry and I don't have any of those sweater dryers you know what I mean it's like a it's like a tray that you you can put it over your tub or you can put it it's it sits above something and uh, the air gets all around it um, I looked for one I looked for it at Target they didn't have any I looked for one at Walmart, which you know I can't stand going into Walmart. They didn't have one in there. So I had to, I looked at, I looked it up on Amazon, so I'm going to order it from Amazon, but I didn't order it yet. I think Bob's going to order it because he's got the, he's got that Amazon Prime stuff. But, so I have to wash those and dry them. And I'm going to start using that as my new laundry basket. It's a three-section sorter. So then I can have that in a room and I'll my clothes in one, Bob's clothes in the other, and whites in, in the middle. So I don't really sort light, lights and darks. Most of my clothes are dark. Even my socks. I, get black, I buy black socks usually. So. space in my room for that because there's still there's still some things in front of my closet you know I have like I have like two boxes in front of my closet I need to go through them and then I have a box at the foot of my bed <laughs> I gotta go through stuff and throw it out I'm just not it just takes me a while to do that kind of thing and then I'd like to put the Christmas decorations away. I don't have a lot of Christmas decorations out, but when I bring the boxes in from the garage, I want to, I might have to have my son bring them in because they're big boxes. But when I bring them in, I have to go through them and get rid of some stuff because there's stuff in there I don't use, but I kept because, you know, someone gives you some kind of Christmas decoration or it's something that your parents had when you were a kid or your in-laws had and I don't know it's like you don't know how long to keep that stuff you know because it's not stuff that I use really I don't know maybe I can just limit it because right now I've got three boxes plus right now I've got three like big plastic totes plus a Plus that container that has the, has some of the fragile ornaments in it. So maybe I can just get it down to two totes instead of three. That would be better. 
and have it organized somewhat. Like the stockings are all over the place. There's stock, some of the stockings are in one box and some of them are in the other and another maybe is in the third. You know what I mean? It's like, gotta organize it a little bit. I saw my mom yesterday, my mom and my stepdad. Bob and I and one of the kids and one of our kids and his friend, we all went down and we met, we met them at a restaurant. I gave them some Christmas cookies. We had a meal. We had a, it wasn't a bad place. We went to Perkins. I think it's the same place that used to be Perkins Pancake House, but now they just call themselves Perkins. Perkins Family Restaurant or something. And they have breakfast all day, so I had I had like a, a skillet thing. It was like, it had some potatoes in it, and it had like cooked egg whites. I didn't know it was going to have egg whites. I thought it was going to have regular eggs, but it, it still tasted good. Because it was it had spinach and cremini mushrooms in it. It, was, it tasted really good. I was surprised at how good it tasted, and I got some toast with that. I think Bob had a hamburger. My mom had liver and onions. <laughs> oh, so here's a weird thing. That's, here's something I find interesting. Is that over here in the U.S., when people eat liver, well, they either eat chicken livers, like you cook it up and saute it, and there's different ways to have it. Or we have... Um, beef liver, which is really calves liver. Um, it seems like, well, whenever I'm watching, I, I watch Colin Begg on Begg Family Antics, and when they have liver, they have pig liver, I think. So why, why do they eat pig liver there, and we don't eat pig liver here? Like, what's, how did these things come about? Like, it, may, it makes you wonder, doesn't it? Like, how do these food things come about? Why is it, is there that big a difference in taste? Like, is it a completely different, I mean, to me, liver tastes like liver. Although I like chicken liver and I don't like calves liver. I just don't. Anyway, that's the, here ends my liver discussion. I wonder if I eat more liver, will that help my liver? <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. If you have a bad liver and you eat liver, does it help your liver? Hey, I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna have mini shredded wheat with milk and a cup of coffee. Oh, I have to put I have to put the defogger on, so you might hear a sound. But my windows are fogging up, and I might eat a banana. I probably need to go to the grocery store. watch the Golden Globes. There's hardly any award shows I watch anymore because they're all 
they all, they all suck, let's face it. The only one that I ever really enjoyed, well, I used to love the Oscars when I was growing up. It used to be better. But um, now I don't even know how they choose the movies. They certainly don't choose them in a way that makes any sense. But um, the, the, the award show I used to love watching was the MTV Movie Awards because they at least... <laughs> their awards at least made sense to me, you know. Plus it was more fun. They'd have stuff like best best chase scene, you know, best car chase and stuff like that. I like that kind of fun thing. The clouds are on the move. Here we go. So do you have any big plans this week? good to not have big plans. I think it's good to... I need a rest from the holidays. How about you? I don't even do a ton of stuff on the holidays. It's just... Ugh. I gotta stop talking about the holidays. It's January now. We're back into regular life. Regular life. Life with red lights and stop signs. Life where people obey the traffic laws most of the time. Most of the time. I haven't been to the movies in a while, which is bad because I have that <laughs> I have that pass that my husband pays for. some movies and go. I want to go see Jumanji, the next level. I like those movies. I think they're fun. And I like I like watching Jack Black. He cracks me up. So, I like um, Kevin Hart, too. And uh, Danny DeVito's in this one. <laughs> I don't think he's in it for a long section, but... Danny DeVito's a fun actor to watch. He's got a... Do you ever watch these things? I think GQ does them. It's either GQ or Vanity Fair. Now watch, I'm probably getting it wrong. It's these YouTube videos where it says it, different actors break down their iconic roles or whatever. Uh, I love watching those and um, if you get a chance, watch the one with Danny DeVito. <laughs> <laughs> I really enjoyed that one. I didn't realize he was in One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest until I watched that. And I was like, oh, he looks so different in it. It's like, I don't know. He's, he's a fun actor. Well, I think that's all I got for today. Try and uh, have a nice relaxing day.